Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited for today's video because we finally have updates on the renovation. I was finally able to get a contractor in to help me with the things that I don't feel like I'm qualified to do and so they are getting done, which means that I can move forward with other things and I cannot wait to show you. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to do so so you don't miss any new updates. There's a bunch of big things planned in store for this space and other spaces in the near future. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is what we are working with for the living room. As you can see, it looks a lot different than before. We had the plumber remove the heating that was over there because it was in the way of getting everything off the wall and it's not my preferred type of heating. So now we just have this foundation exposed, which I said previously, I'm interested in like refinishing it and making it look nice and keeping the concrete look. As always, there's more beam and window sanding progress. It's going really slow because we can't get in the contractor's way, but you can definitely see it coming along. This is a close-up of what the walls are looking like. The next thing that's going to happen is contractors are going to level this out with some concrete and I think it'll look a lot cleaner once they do that. And then we're going to finish all of these off so it's going to be basically just like a concrete hollow cutout is what this room is going to be. If you guys remember I did order that dark couch which I'm really excited it should be in soon so we'll have somewhere to sit which is like not something that we have already. We removed this little dresser that was built in over there for some reason, so now the floor is better equipped for them to fill it in. And we have an electrician coming soon to kind of fix all of these wires because they are just so bad. The windows still need a lot of work, obviously, but you can see all of the stuff starting to come off of them, and I'm really excited to have that completely done at some point. Here's what the ceiling looks like from the other side. Super exciting. Obviously, it looks extremely dirty. It's not, this is not like a finished product. This is just sanding it down. And then moving upstairs, we have a lot of progress. So this is where that opening was that Pip would always scare me with. And the contractors filled that in to make it secure, safe, and now you can walk on it. So. That's really exciting, we'll have more floor space up here. They also went ahead and ripped out all of the sliding doors. So I'm actually not gonna have a door on this room. This is like the filming type of office room. And I think it looks really nice just open like this, just like really inviting. And I like being able to see that really fun plywood wall. So I think I'm just gonna leave this open for now. And then these two rooms need more privacy. So we're gonna switch them out to pocket doors and the contractor is going to do that. I don't know if you guys remember, but this floor used to be like this and there's like all of these cracks in it. You can see it straight down to the level below. So they started installing this subfloor and I'm so excited. It makes such a big difference. There's still no flooring on the floors. Obviously this is just a subfloor, but it's so much nicer because you can walk on it and it's not creaking underneath you. So it feels a lot more more secure. And this is so exciting because that means that flooring will be in the near future and then once the flooring is in I can like actually start working on spaces which makes me so excited. This is the second room, the getting ready room, and they already got the subfloor in here as well which is just so exciting. Again you can just walk around and not like think that you're gonna fall through the floor which is just everything. It's already starting to feel so different up here and this doesn't even have the subfloor yet, so I'm so excited. So, you might be a little bit confused about what's going on here. That really small bathroom we're gonna open up so all of this is gonna be bathroom. And the contractor is here right now this week doing the subfloor. Tonight I'm opening up that wall for him to be able to do that.
The ceiling in this bathroom is really short and it turns out it's a drop ceiling. So they made the ceiling come down lower than what it actually can be. But we're dealing with a whole lot of insulation and a good amount of rodent activity. So got the mask, got the gloves, got the vacuum. that we want to subfloor. So Dylan went ahead and ripped out all of these shelves. And then this wall was opened, which is really convenient because we wanna see what's happening. And then the bedroom. So there's no subfloor yet in the bedroom, but there will be very soon. Definitely a little bit nerve wracking, um, but we're dealing with it. For the bedroom, the mirror doors were taken off because that's all going to be subfloored as well. And you can really start to see what is going to be happening with the structure around the bed. Just imagine the bed is set into there and then it's like closed off storage everywhere. I think it's gonna be so nice. And then here are the mirrors. We're going to repurpose these and bring them down into the basement for the dance room. So yeah, those are all of the updates for now, but there's a bunch more coming soon. That was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a like if you did and comment down below what you're most excited for for the renovation. I'll see you guys all next week for some more design stuff. Bye guys.